to this video which demonstrates the ThinPrint High Availability solution. Today I'm going to cluster two central print servers into a failover cluster. Uh, I'll set um, the server that's going to carry the printing load. I'm going to set that into maintenance mode and we should see how quickly and seamlessly that uh, transfers the user's print queues over to a backup print server. So the advantage of the high availability solution um, is, um, as uh, quite obvious, if there is a, a failure, a catastrophic failure on one of the print servers, such as a spooler crash or maybe driver conflicts, uh, the load can easily be switched um, uh, automatically uh, across to another server, which uh, will then carry the load without affecting the user's uh, experience. Uh, also during business hours um, administrators can switch one of the servers into maintenance mode which allows them to uh, update printer drivers and perform other administrative tasks uh, again without affecting uh, users printing. So we're going to see how quick it is to set up this high availability cluster. You'll see it's, it's only a few clicks. Uh, but what I have uh, set up here in this lab, I have two central print servers with the ThinPrint engine installed. Uh, they've also got identical print queues which are shared. Uh, and then I'm configuring the high availability uh, and also configuring how printers are mapped into user session using a ThinPrint engine installed on a terminal server. You can also configure this using the ThinPrint group policy. So I'm going to add my group here. I've just got to give it a name. I'll call it HA. You can see I've got a couple options here. I've got failover or a load balanced uh, configuration. I think they're pretty self-explanatory. And uh, I'm going to just select failover um, for this demonstration. And I can search for the servers uh, in the Active Directory. and it will now perform a health check on the servers and we can see how long they've been up for. The next thing I like to do is create a group um, containing all the printers in the high availability cluster. This just allows me to see which printers are uh, exist on both of the servers. Um, so that's always a good way to just um, to just double check uh, and make sure that there's nothing misconfigured there. Um, and it also rules out any DNS issues and things like that. So I'm just going to add this printer group here. I've got to give it a name. I'm going to call it all printers. And you see I have the option here to select one of my high availability groups. And then by clicking this checkbox, it will show me which print drivers exist on both, sorry, which print queues exist on both of these central print servers. So I'm going to select both of them. And I'll make printer one my default printer. And apply my changes. And then all that's left is to now configure which print queues I want to appear in user sessions. And we use thin print auto connect for this and our map additional printers matrix. Uh, now there's plenty more information and videos on the thin print auto connect service. Um, so I won't go into too much uh, detail here, but uh, you can see I'm just selecting my all printers group. Um, there are many ways that you can uh, further filter this. So one that's very popular here in Australia is um, IP range and subnet. So if users are connecting from this particular subnet, then they will get these printers mapped. Um, but uh, in this situation, because this is a demo lab, there's no need to muck around with that. So I've just got all users, all IP range groups and all clients um, connecting uh, to uh, to these printers which are going to map into their session. It's also recognised that I've already selected a default printer as well. So I'm going to apply my changes and publish them. And that's all that's involved on the server side, on the administrator side and configuring it. So now let's see how it looks from a user's point of view. Okay, 
uh, here we are in the user session and you can see that I've got my uh, two print queues mapped. They're currently on uh, Central Print Server 3. Um, and uh, all that I'm going to do here is uh, set that particular server into maintenance mode. So again, I'll go back here to my high availability uh, servers. And I'm just going to set this uh, one into maintenance mode and then I have to be really quick and flick across and you can see the change to, uh, to the backup central print server. So changing it to maintenance mode and, and on to the um, user's terminal server session again and you can see uh, it's first of all maps the backup queues uh, into the user session uh, and then we'll see these other queues will be deleted on CPS3.